Hi, welcome back. Now, today you're going to learn how to create the exploded view, which is part of your presentation board. What we are using is the same drawing file ISO IDW in Autodesk. The only difference is that instead of putting the solid model, we put in a model that has been exploded out with individual parts as shown over here. We need to create the exploded view to show to the reader okay, what your artifact is made up of. Show how the things are being put together right, as shown over here. Individual parts are pulled out to show how they fit together and also we'll have a material list to show what your particular artifact is made up of. Okay, for example, number two here it shows here as dome hollow. Number one here is so called show as mixed cylinder and a hole, right? So every individual part will have a part name and a size and the material shown in this particular material list. The material list enable the reader to understand what each particular part in your artifact is made up of and what is the size. Okay, let's see how you're going to create this particular view first, followed by placing this view into the drawing, followed by creating this material list, and then we'll do the labeling. Right? Let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to create an exploded view. To do that, we'll move over to this cursor here, click on it, right? This time around, we're going to move it down and we look for this presentation, create an exploded projection of an assembly. We're going to use this standard format in Autodesk called standard MMIPN, right? We're going to use a standard MMIPN. Click on it, click create. Right? In this screen, the next thing that you need to do now is to create view, alright? So create. Okay, we look for the assembly file that we have created previously open right I'm going to look for this particular one assemble bank with rectangular base right I'm going to click on it open right I'm going to click OK now the software will load this up automatically okay as you can see I have the cylinder the dome and the rectangular base all assembled together something that we have created previously Right. So what we're going to do now is to show you how to explode this part out by pulling all this individual part away from each other. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the function tweak components to drag individual individual of this part out. Okay. So I click on it. Right. You'll notice this box appear. Okay. It'll show you direction components. Right. If you click on it, the components color will change. Right, you click on it, it will change, have, which is component. If this is the direction, right, okay, these are directions, right. So, uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this transformation here, which allows you to manually move each part in the direction that you want, and this shows you the distance that you're going to move it. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to select this dome. Okay, you notice this is Y, so I'm going to move it up in Y. So I click Y. I, I enter the distance. Maybe this time I put 80. I click OK. You notice that the dome goes up. Okay, if I want to move it further, I just need to amend this. I put 150. Look what happened. It shift even further. Alright, I'm going to zoom out a little bit to show you. Okay, so if I want to click on this cylinder to move up, I need to press on clear first. Then I click on the cylinder. Alright. And you see there's a direction. I can keep Z. I'm gonna click on the cylinder again. Okay, this time round I'm gonna hit or enter 100. Let's see what happened. It shift up by 100. Okay, so now I want to shift this base plate up also. So I'm going to use clear again. I'm gonna highlight or click on the base plate. I know I want to move by Z direction, so I can enter maybe one hundred, uh, maybe one hundred. Let's see what happened. Click on it. Click OK. It shift up, so it's too much. So I just need to bring it down a bit. I change the value, say maybe to seventy. I click on it. 
it moved down. Now there's not enough distance between here and here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift this all up again. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on this. This dome, right? And I'm going to move up Y by say another 50. If I click OK, let's see what happened. They all move up together. I click clear. Right, so I'll move this up further. I'll move this up further. So again, click on it. Click on it. I know it's Y. I'm going to move it up by another 50. Let's see what happened again. Right, I'm going to shift it up by 100. Do they move? Yes, they move. Click on clear. I'll move this base plate up. I know it's Z. So I shift it up by 100. Okay, shifted. Now the next thing I want to do is to move this base up. So I'm going to click on clear. I'm going to click on this base. I know it's Z. I'm going to shift it out by 50. Tense blue. It shift up by 50. Now I'm going to shift this out this way. So I click on clear. I click on this. I know it's Z again. I put to 50. I click on this surface, it turns blue, shift out, I'll shift this one out by 50, again, I click on this for direction, right, I just want to zoom in to make sure where I am, clear, okay, I know it's Z is direction is this way, I want to shift the other way, so in this time round, I need to enter a negative figure, minus 50, it shift out, now I'm going to shift this one this direction, click on clear, I press on this surface, Z is this direction, right? I can click on this particular rectangular. I can shift it out by say maybe uh, 80. And I want to shift this out, click clear and shift this one out. I click on it. I know Z is this direction, so I want to go this direction. So I need to enter a negative figure. So I click on it, it turns blue. I put maybe negative 80. And there it goes, right? So the part has already been exploded out. So when we are done, you just click close. Now the trick of exploded view is to show, make sure that every individual part can be seen clearly and they are not overlapping as much as possible. Right? At any one time you feel that it's um, overlapping, you can just adjust, click on tweak again. For example, this base plate, I click on it. I just want to shift it up by a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put 20, let's see what happened. It went down, so it's not correct. So I put negative 40. Let's see what happened. It went further down. So this is not correct. So we need to change it back. It's up a bit. So I'm going to shift it up a bit. Alright. Cool. So once you are satisfied with it, it should be okay. So you are free to amend it, okay, until all the views are or can be seen for individual parts. Right, so you're happy with it, you are done. And then you will save the file. Now that we have created the exploded view, we want to place it in the appropriate drawing file. So we just go on to click on this icon again. And this time we will select the ISO IDW again. Click create. Okay, this usual paper appear, which is A3. Now we need to change the color as per previously. Click on tools, document setting, click on sheet, change it to white, click apply. Right, we will want to delete this also. Choose ISO, right click, delete. Then we go to place view. You choose base. Look for the file that you have saved, the IPN file. Right, I'll select this assembly bank with rectangular base IPN. Click on OK, open. 
choose the right view right change the size if you need choose the appropriate view to show every single part if you're happy with it click on the screen okay the software will place the thing hit escape key then so now you have one exploded view placed in this drawing the next thing that you want to do right is to insert a table which is the material list table so to do that you just need to click annotate choose part list the screen will appear a pop-up screen change here to parts only you can look for the file browse for the file in this case I'll look for the same file the IPN file again click OK a table will appear okay this will show the tables for the artifact the materials or the component for the artifact you'll notice here the item the quantity use number of pieces the part name and the description now we need to do some modification to this table to suit our need to do that bring over you'll notice a table turn red right click choose edit part list you see the description here right click choose column chooser we're going to add one more column called materials we shift it up okay you choose add you can actually remove or you can just select <coughs> add right, we're moving up the order part number material and description and we click ok once you click apply you'll notice that the part number materials all appear one more column will just appear so now the next thing is I want to change this instead of description I want to change it to dimension so right click again choose format column right I did demonstrate one more time right click choose format column change this to dimension and you click OK when you apply it appears as dimension the next thing is I want to modify this material I know this part is all made of acrylic so I'm going to change the word generic to acrylic Now, if you are, if your artifact or any part of your artifact is made of wood, then you have to change it respectively to wood. Or if there's metal, you, of course, you will change it to metal. All right. So, if for example, if any one of this is made of wood, then obviously you will change type it as wood. And maybe you want to key in the type of wood that you use, perhaps pine or red maranti or julutong. Okay, once you have finished entering, you click apply. All this will change to a click. Now the next thing you want to do is to key in the size for each of these parts or component. To do that, right, we're going to enter over here as dimension. For this part number or this part, right, it's this one, which is a cylinder. I'm going to put in the size. Okay, I know for a fact that it is diameter 100 times the height is 150 times I know that the material thickness is 3 mm right for the dome okay I know that is diameter 100 times the height is maybe about 60 times of course the material we used was 3 mm for the base plate I know it's diameter 100 so basically you must know the size of the part okay the material thickness is 3mm 
that you have drawn to fill in into this table. You can always refer to individual part file. Okay, for this case, a base. This one I know is 100 times 80 times material 3 mm. This one, the long wall is 100 times 60 height times 3 mm. The second long wall is the same. Then the short wall is about 80 times 60 times 3 mm. The second short wall is the same. Okay, and there you go. The whole material list okay, has been filled up. Right, we have the item, quantity, part number, materials, and dimension. Now the part list, you see here part list, I need to change it. To change it, again, right click, edit part list style. Okay, from here we change to material list. Then you click done. Yes, the thing has been changed. Right, the next thing that you want to do is to indicate which part item represent which part number so to do this we're going to use boolean which is here click on it bring over to the dome click a numbering system will appear to item 2 which is the dome hollow click here one one piece make center cylinder and a hole click on this double click I can click on this, right? Use a boolean to label. Make sure it's neat and tidy, and they do not overlap each other, right? So when it's done, you have a boolean numbering system that's run according to this item, so that when a person read the material list, they will understand which particular one, right? Number it represents, right? Even for example, number three base plate, he can identify the base plate. He knows that. Base plate is become acrylic and he knows the size. So it becomes very clear. The next thing that you want to do is to key in some information. Okay, you want to key in a comment like all dimensions are in mm to make it clear to the reader. And you want to Add a heading over here. Right? Perhaps I choose about 10. I enter the information exploded. View. I may want to underline it. Okay, and you notice it's blocking, so I need to do just shift it up a bit and maybe you want to shift your model also a bit space it out nicely so that everything is within a clear view and there you go you have just produced your exploded view drawing to be pasted in your presentation board now it's your turn to try on your own